Wii Sports, one of the most iconic games of all time. Wii Sports was such a hit in 2006 that it's hard to find a person, gamer or not, that has not tried the game at least once. Now, if you were too young to play Wii Sports or have been stuck in a hole for the last 16 years, Wii Sports is a motion-based game that launched with the Nintendo Wii on November 19th of 2006. It consists of five games, tennis, baseball, bowling, boxing, and golf. But bowling is is the only one that we'll be focusing on today because back in March of this year, I took on one of the greatest challenges of my life, to bowl a perfect game in Wii Bowling. And let me tell you, it was not easy. Guys, I am one strike away from bowling a perfect game. I just, I don't wanna fuck this up, man. <laughs> okay. I think this is good. But after three days of trying, I finally did it. I bowled a 300, AKA a perfect game. Pull it back, spin, jerk it. What happened to the ball? Oh! Nice throw. We did it up. Let's go, dude. Oh, dude. What do you think you are? But much like the monkey's paw, my wish came at a cost. Whenever I tried to use my perfect game as bragging rights online, a few people would fill the replies with their own proof of a perfect game in Wii Sports. And it began to dawn on me that I would have to share credit with people who don't have an online following. And that is quite literally my worst nightmare. So I have decided to raise the stakes a little bit. I am going to double my achievement from earlier this year. I'm going to try to bowl not one, but two perfect games, a perfect 600. Now, I don't know if this is possible for me, but I think that I need to try to get the true attention and praise that I deserve. Because I'm gonna be honest, I just don't think YouTubers get enough of that these days. So let's get started. So originally, my plan was simple. I'd bowled a perfect game before, so I would just do that again. Now to add to the fun challenge, because I was so confident myself, I figured I would live stream the event and not stop streaming until I bowled two perfect games. So that week, I prepared to be on stream for multiple days. I stocked up on snacks, I created stream overlays for when I needed to shower or run, I even bought a tent because I was scared to sleep on stream. What if accidentally in my sleep, I pulled my pants off and revealed my butt and balls? This would be extremely embarrassing online and it would follow me forever. I can't have an image of my butt and balls following me for the rest of my life. But after all that prep, I was finally ready to start the stream. Hello. Today is not going to be a normal stream. In fact, you're going to be a part of history. Today's stream is special because it's not just today's stream. I'm not gonna stop streaming until I bowl two perfect games. I am not going to stop until I do this. Listen, I did something here, what some people might call a lie. Now, I didn't know it yet. I thought I was telling the truth, but the challenge of bowling a perfect game proved to be a lot more tedious and difficult than I remembered. By the way, I have not bowled in Wii Bowling since the last time I did a perfect game. I do not remember the muscle memory. I'm actually nervous. What if I'm bad at first? First try, unsuccessful. Nobody's calling me Eddie Nine Pins, right? in the chat. And this is where my second worst nightmare came true. Previously, when I bowled a perfect game, some cyber bullies in the chat started calling me my incorrect nickname, 
Eddie nine pins for when I leave one pin up and get nine pins down. However, we all know that the much more catchy nickname for me is Eddie Strike Back because I only get strikes. It had been months since the first stream, so I thought people had forgotten this stupid and incorrect nickname, but I started to see it in the chat immediately. Okay. Nice. Maybe, maybe you guys want to start calling me Eddie Strike Back. Suggestion. Hey, everyone on YouTube, if chat was on screen right now, you'd see them all agreeing. That's my new nickname, Eddie Strike Back, and it's not Eddie Nine Pins. And nobody thinks it's Eddie Nine Pins, and I'll prove it to you right here. Shut the fuck up. I truly can't look at chat right now. That's. <laughs> My bowling performance was not off to a good start, and I was starting to get a little bit worried in the back of my head about whether or not I could do this. Dad, my nickname is Eddie Strikeback and not Eddie Ninepins. Please confirm Eddie it. Eddie Ninepins? Don't, no, no, Eddie don't, Nine no, Pins? don't say that one. Don't Eddie fall Nine for Pins. what they're saying. Eddie don't Nine fall Pins, for what the media is saying. That's good. That really, that's a good play on your name. Everyone who's calling me Eddie Ninepins will listen to this. It's gonna be, it's fun. <laughs> <laughs> Wee bowling, after all, is an exhausting task that makes your arm sore if you do it for multiple hours. Luckily for me, before I could voice my own concerns, Chrissy and Chad started suggesting that maybe being live would ruin my chances at trying to get this done. So we decided together that the stream wasn't the best idea and that I was going to stop. However, when I went to end the stream, instead of clicking end stream, I clicked to stop recording the stream, but I thought I wasn't live anymore. So here is me thinking I ended the stream and also being overwhelmed with the relief that I don't have to be live for multiple days. All right. Well, thank you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm logging off for the night. Hopefully I will see you in a bit. All right. So then I click, think the stream's over. Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. And then I pull up my phone while chat realizes I'm still live and I don't know. Look at the look at the guilty look on my face as I try and end the stream. Look at how guilty I look. Oh God, it's so embarrassing. Hey, wait, look, look down here. I'm small. I'm small and now I'm getting bigger and I'm here. And today's video is sponsored by SeatGeek. Get used to it. With over 28 million downloads, SeatGeek is the number one ticketing app. There are more than 70,000 events each day, including concerts, sports, festivals, and more. The last sponsorship I did, I mentioned that Kendrick was on tour, and I saw Kendrick and Baby Keem live in September. It was awesome. And more people are on tour as well, like Ari Stoyles or Jack Harlow. SeatGeek always wants to make sure you have a good deal. So when you're on the app, look for green dots. Green means good and red means bad. Are you listening? Do you understand, you little baby? Every ticket is backed by their buyer guarantee and SeatGeek is the only site that lets you return your tickets ahead of the event with swaps. So you can use my code Eddie with a Y for $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. That's $20 off your first purchase with promo code Eddie. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. Okay, back to the video, I'm getting small again, no! After the failure of the live stream, I began practicing every single day at Wii Bowling. I was doing the technique that worked for me the first time, which is to stretch the controller back, twist it a little bit, and as I'm releasing the ball, you jerk the controller forward and back really quickly. That causes the controller to vibrate and puts an extra spin and force on the ball. But this technique was just not giving me the consistency I needed to bowl even one perfect game. So I went to YouTube and found a YouTube video by someone named Daltz. The video was titled The Best Way to Get a Strike on Wii Sports Bowling In-Depth Tutorial Plus Perfect Game. And this is where I learned from the master. My best is 68 strikes in a row. You have to put your character what we want to do to the left is left. -y. Cut, cut off. Yeah. The third triangle. That's what we want to do. The right line. You don't want to hit the dead triangle. center That's of the middle. Pick everything on the right side. Falls around. Maybe sometimes you're lucky with the left side. Not this triangle. Not this triangle, but this triangle. No joke, these tips were invaluable to my technique. I started getting consistent strikes and even bowled a 299. <laughs> no! 
But my excitement soon faded because for the rest of the day, I couldn't cross a perfect game. I couldn't live up to what I had done before. This is where I reached, you know, some of my lower points while bowling. So for some inspiration, I went to a real bowling alley with friends to take notes. But even real bowling was shaking my confidence a little bit. Nobody call me 89 pins or I'm gonna freak the fuck out. When I went to the bathroom, I caught myself in the mirror and I could just see it in my eyes. I was a washed up has been. I used to be a bowling god, and now I couldn't even bowl a perfect game again. But as I was peeing in the bowling alley bathroom, the bowling greats of past started to speak to me. There on the wall were pictures of all of them, reaching out to inspire me. Look, it's Jimmy Dinko. He was the first to bowl a perfect game between his legs. And there, Frankie Three Holes. He did something to the bowling ball that I can't talk about on YouTube. And look, it's Cindy the Pin. She created the iconic technique of throwing the ball down the lane like a fastball. And in that moment, I decided that I would not accept defeat. I would at least try to get one more perfect game to prove myself. And that's at the very least. Also, when I got back, Ted's beer had a smiley face in the foam, and that has nothing to do with the video, but I just thought that was interesting. Returning home determined, I realized that I had made a crucial mistake. Jakey was over, and I got distracted, so I never actually finished Dalt's video. And I had missed a crucial piece of information about the technique. Damn it, Jakey! What we want to do is just angle it at a 45 degree angle. All right, next thing, stance. Okay, this is where you wanna release it. So you wanna go back, keep the 45 degree, go back, release. And it's very, very important that your arm is out. Not this. Not this. Not this. Definitely not this. This. This is where you wanna release. When you, when you release that B button, this is where your arm should be. Trust me, it has to be like that. I had never doubted my mentor before, so finally, I was ready. Ooh. Nice throw! Okay. Nice throw! Okay, this could potentially be my first perfect game of the run. I hope I don't fuck this up. Yes! I finally did it. One perfect game so far. I just have to do that all over again another time. I'm gonna keep this recording going. Okay. Unfortunately, after one perfect game and one strike, my next one did not hit. So this technique seems to work wonders for me. Shout out to my mentor, you're my hero. But after doing this, I couldn't cross my record of a perfect game in one strike. The technique would consistently give me strike after strike, but I would mess it up somehow in the middle. And I began to get frustrated because I'm going home for Thanksgiving and I leave on November 20th, which gives me just a few days to not only bowl two perfect games in a row, but to finish making this video. And I have to say it's much harder to record and edit a YouTube video while your right arm is flinging. Well, your right arm is flinging around while you're trying to edit. After my Rainforest Cafe video, I would think of myself as a C or probably D list YouTuber. But it seems that big YouTubers who do challenge videos don't do the challenges themselves anymore. No, they find somebody who has less money than them, who needs more of it, and they make them do the challenge. I'm such an idiot, I can't believe I didn't think of this. So the new plan was to find somebody with less money than me to come 
come over to my place and we bowl for me. Then when they did it, I could just take a photo of the perfect game, cut them out of the video and get all the credit. But it couldn't be somebody who watches my videos. It had to be a random person who wouldn't post about it. So I handcrafted an enticing advertisement to put up all around my neighborhood and the surrounding area. After hours of work, I finally got it finished and it was perfect. So then I was off to Staples to get this shit printed. I cannot believe that I didn't think of this before. This must be why my YouTube videos aren't the most popular in the world. Why would I make my arms tired with physical labor or waste any of my time when I have the capital to waste someone else's? However, I was a bit worried that people would distrust that I had more money than them. I mean, they don't know who I am, they're just reading a sheet of paper. So to combat that, I put a $10 bill under every single advertisement. That way I could entice them with the money, but also reassure them that there's more where that came from. So of course, when they come to my place to bowl, they'll return the $10 in exchange for a chance to win a bigger prize. Now I did have to go to an ATM because I printed about 14, 15 of these, so I'm really waiting on that $150 back. Now, the only thing left to do was be a good host to my guests. So I somewhat cleaned the room, and I added this welcome image on my TV, so even if they didn't look directly at it, they instantly and subliminally felt welcome in my home. This should help them bowl better. I also stocked the fridge and got some fancy pizza to make sure that everyone had fun. I was honestly getting a little excited to have a wee bowling party. Then the clock started ticking, and after a few hours, nobody had shown up. I was uh, getting a little worried that, you know, somebody might come so late that they'd want to sleep over, so I actually took the time to set up the tent that I had bought for the stream just in case they wanted to stay. But after multiple hours, I uh, gave up. It was one of the most humiliating experiences of my life. That's when I took another look at the advertisement I had been posting around the neighborhood. And like an idiot, I realized I didn't even specify how much the prize money would be. Oh, and I didn't even put the date on it. I just said 8.30, I didn't even say AM or PM. Oh God, I forgot my address too. Oh, I'm such an idiot, what was I thinking? But this was my final night to give it a go before flying home to the suburbs of Chicago. And I was not about to let this video release without at least getting two perfect games not in a row. So after hours of crying, with Chrissy consoling me, we decided that we would hang out and spend the last night wee bowling, trying to go for it, and I was on fire. Strike after strike. Oh my gosh. No! And then finally, I did it again. Will I get a perfect game right here? Let's see. Time to prove that I'm not Eddie Nine Pins. Let's go! Who do you think you are? I am! I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, after the night I had, I needed this one. And I was so hungry to do better that I even got another $2.99 after that. I swear if I had just a little more time, I would become a bowling god. But unfortunately, family comes first and family time is I guess more important than we bowling. So, what are my official statistics for this run? Well, I bowled three almost perfect games, three 299s. I also did bowl two perfect games during this run and three perfect games this year. But my official record for strikes in a row was one perfect game and one strike. 
Now I did have the time constraint of going home, so I am pretty proud of myself for putting these numbers up at least. And lucky for you, if you're in the mood to see more of me and my brother and Wii Sports, we actually made an entire video on Wii Sports this year and it's really fun and good and I'm gonna link it in the description down below and you definitely should go watch it. It's still three perfect games, but am I a bowling god? No. Am I a bowling demigod? Sure. I'm sort of like Percy Jackson, except instead of being a small boy who's the son of Poseidon, I look like this and I'm pretty good at wee bowling now. So yeah, I think that's it. Oh my God. Oh my God, the $10 bills. I left 15 $10 bills taped around my neighborhood. It's been like four days. Um, 